The first comment that I'd like to make about the learning wall is it can be used or it was designed to function as a, as a supplement to existing storage or casework in a classroom or, as in the case here, a replacement to standard or fixed built-in casework. Unlike fixed casework that you find in most classrooms, this product is not attached to the walls or the floors. So even though it looks and feels like it's built-in product, it can be moved and rearranged very nicely and, and very quickly because the product consists of a series of modules or components that are simply attached to each other and they can be taken apart and, uh, and moved and then reassembled. For instance, in this section of learning wall, you can see these lower case, these lower units. These are separate pieces of product. And there's, they're attached. And then we have the end panels, the rail, the screens, and then the hutch units that rest um, above the lower storage units. So those series of components are very easily attached and, and, uh, and detached from one another. So you can install and move and rearrange the product quite nicely. In fact, it takes about 20 minutes to take apart a 12-foot section of wall. And therefore, again, we can move that across the room to another uh, room in the building or even to another building. So it's very, very flexible. The second point that I want to make about the product is it's very functional. You've seen me, you've seen some examples of the storage capabilities, but again, there's ample storage options both below the writing surfaces and, and above. A lot of different cabinets, shelf type of arrangements uh, that, that we can use. We can even have open storage if you'd like. So from a storage standpoint, there are a lot of different options and there's a lot of different storage capabilities. We can also uh, provide a lot of display capabilities. Obviously, you can see we can write on these uh, marker boards. We can uh, attach things to them or display other items on them. And you'll notice that we have three boards in this given amount of wall space. We can actually maximize the amount of display that you get in a learning wall. So it provides a lot of function uh, as well. Another key attribute of the learning wall is the fact uh, that it will help you save space or recapture space in a classroom. Because the, the display surface and the storage is all in the same unit, we don't have to have marker boards or smart boards on one wall and storage cabinets on another wall. When you do that, as most classrooms are laid out, you're devoting a lot of space to egress. Here we cut down on that amount of space used for egress and save a typical classroom up to 50 or 60 square feet of space per class. A couple of additional, additional comments. You can see here that we can also in incorporate interactive technology into our learning wall system, uh, which we've done here, uh, in replace of some of the sliding screens and boards. And you can also see that we're not limited to the, to the length or the amount of the run that we use with the learning wall. We have standard length modules that are 8, 12, and 16 feet. Here we're showing an install where this is 22 feet in length. So it's very easy for us to add or take away based on the modularity and the flexibility of the system to get a product that's going to meet and fit uh, whatever your particular needs are. So however much space you want to fill or need to fill, we can accommodate that with the, with the learning wall. So in summary, the product is very flexible. It's very functional, and uh, it's also a great way to save space and, uh, and save money.